Hello, my name is Perry Gunderman. I'm a consultant with Code of Bears, and today we're going to be looking at the home menu layout in Epicor 10.1. Now, this is a default menu layout for Epicor. It's all right, but maybe I want to make a few changes to it. We've already done a video of Epicor 10 where we can create new menu tabs like these favorites in Epicor, but today we're going to worry more about the color scheme and theming that we can do in Epicor 10.1. So, we'll go to Settings, and let's go to this Colors tab. Here, we can choose what color panel we like. So I might go with this, change it to orange. Now if you hover over these, you'll see what text font you're changing. So for this one, I'm changing the main background color. Here, I'm going to choose the yellow, and this is going to be the tree and content background color. Here, I'll choose this greenish color, and I'll make a few other small changes. I'm not sure why they chose that you have to hover over them in order to see what the theming is going to be, where they could have just put the text below it, but that's how you find out what you have. Now, click Save. And usually, in order to see the changes, you'll have to exit and re-enter Epicor, but sometimes going back to the home menu changes it. It didn't, so let's go ahead and close, and then reopen Epicor 10.1. Here we can already see some of these changes that I've made, such as the title color here. Now let's say I really don't like this color layout, and I'm guessing you can figure out why I don't like it. Well, let's go to Settings, Home Page, and down here we have a Reset option. Check the box, and click the Yes button. Now we'll go ahead and close, and reopen 10.1. Ah, there we go, back to a tolerable color. Let's try that again with a color scheme that doesn't hurt the eyes quite as much. We'll go back into Settings, go back to Colors, and I'll just make a few small changes. Here, I'm going to change to a blue for my main background color, and I'll change to a yellow for my tree and background color. That way I have an offsetting color scheme. I'm actually going to go with an orange, with blue and orange. While I'm on the colors, I'll click the Save button up here, and now I've saved my color changes. Now I can go to my home page and I can make a few changes. This option up here says how many tiles you want to display in a vertical column. So the default's three, I'll change it to six. What this means is if we go back to the home screen, we'll see that we now have one, two, three, four, five, six in a row. The problem with this layout is if you click the minimize button or change the window from full screen, they begin to go off screen, which means you have to scroll. Now I personally don't like having to scroll up and down to do what I need to do in Epicor, and I don't always leave it in full screen, so personally, I just leave it with the default of 3 or change it to 4. This determines whether or not you'll see the loading form animation when you go to open something. You can leave this on, or if you don't feel that it's necessary, go ahead and uncheck it. You can always change these settings back later. Next, you can go ahead and decide if you want to select the pre-existing layout, if you've loaded multiple onto here, import a layout, or export it. So let's say I really like this and I want all my employees to be using this layout. I'll go ahead and save to the desktop, Layout Revisions, or Layout Revisions for short. So I click OK. Click the checkbox here, and we will see on our desktop we have our layout revision.layout. Now, normally you would be able to open a file like this with Notepad and go ahead and make changes to it. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, Epicor decided to make this a scrambled file where we can't really do that. So you can see that this shell homepage, shell user options are all a bunch of scrambled characters. So the only way to really modify this file is within Epicor 10.1's menu itself which is fine, we can work with that. Now we've got that, so now let's say we want to publish this layout, so we want other people to use it. So we'll name this Manager's Orders, and click Save. Let's go back to that in a little bit, but let's look at the splash screen. Here we can select if we want to animate. This will simply have the tiles wipe away as opposed to just go to the next screen. And we can change the text on the custom screen. So we can uncheck that if we don't want to display anything, or check it and go in here and say, demo text. Now, one thing to know about these is they don't word wrap, nor do they go over the screen limit. So 
if I go ahead and delete service here and just start typing, you'll see that things begin to go off the side of the screen. This is kind of useless, so you want to make sure that you have the text that only fits in that box. I don't know the exact character count for each of these, so I would recommend playing around with it and see what you can fit in here. But this could be used to put the company's logo or motto in. No, there's no way to modify the size of these boxes or to add text to this one over here. Unfortunately, that's just the way it's designed. Now we can go down here, and we can also select what we want to be able to search with. So when we click this little magnifying glass up here, we can see that we have our menu search option, Google, as well as enterprise search. Let's say I wanted to add another search engine here. I can add Amazon, Bing, eBay, Wikipedia, or Yahoo. So any of these I can add in order to be able to search when I click this search button. So let's check Amazon in case I need to order parts off of there. So let's say I want to search on Amazon for pens because I need new ones for the office. I simply type it in and here we can see our varied and wide selection of pens. We can also uncheck these options if we don't want the search to be enabled at all and just want to leave the default Epicor search and enterprise search. Now let's go back to our home page. I've decided that I want to load this style back in. Go to here, select layout revisions, and say yes. Now this will be applied as the default menu. So let's go back to our settings and we see all of our color changes that have taken place. We go to home page, click the drop down, and we can see now that we have our select layout, now that we've imported one, we can switch between them. If we had a bunch of different layouts, we could go ahead and toggle between multiple varieties and then click the check whenever we're ready. We can also check this replace favorites checkbox in order to delete all the favorites that are on the home screen. Usually you don't want to do this, but if you have a set favorites, for example, if you have a new employee coming in and you know what they're going to be using to complete their job, let's say finances, you can go ahead and replace whatever favorites might have been on that workstation and just have a set variety of favorites that will appear there that will help make their job a bit easier. That should give you a good idea of some of the changes that are available in 10.1. Hopefully this will provide you with a better idea of how Epicor 10.1 handled adding customization to your home menu and layouts.